So deferred maintenance needs can cover a lot of things. In District 58, we have a number of pieces of equipment that are obsolete, and therefore we can't obtain parts to repair them. We're essentially running equipment knowing that at any time, a failure of that equipment would significantly impact the facility. A great example of this is unit ventilators or heaters in the classroom typically get replaced every 25 to 30 years. District 58 in many of its schools still has the original unit ventilators and heaters from the 50s and or 60s. So with Herrick being built in 1953, it is a very old building and there are some mechanical things that we're definitely hoping to resolve in the future. One of them being an electrical panel that is so old that replacement parks aren't made anymore. Our science classrooms are definitely in need of improvement. There's not a lot of room for flexibility because we have very fixated furniture. Our furniture is also very old and worn. Uh, our family and consumer science room is also very out of date. It is almost like stepping back in time with what some of the kitchen structures are like in that space. I am a lifelong resident of Downers Grove and I've gone through the school system here at Pierce Downer, Herrick, and at Downers Grove North. My sons go to school at those buildings as well. And when I walk into both Herrick and Pierce Downer, there are some areas that absolutely have not changed since I was a student over 40 years ago. The bathrooms are maintained appropriately and cleaned, however, they're still the same bathroom. The master facility plan would also include mechanical improvements such as boiler replacement. Many of our boilers are very old, which leads to poor energy efficiency. It takes a significant amount of operational dollars to operate this older equipment. I have actually lived in Downers Grove for eight years, and during that time, I was a teacher in Lombard. I was an assistant principal in Westmont. When I came to District 58, the facilities and the differences that I saw from other buildings that I'd worked in uh, was pretty remarkable. Uh, we might be exceeding in many areas. We have wonderful teachers. We have wonderful curriculum resources, but our facilities are not up to par with other surrounding school districts. 